Hello, my name is Derek Baxter. I'm an app developer out of Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. And today I'm going to show you how to create this menu system or a game front screen that takes you to level one and a second scene, level two screen. This is using Sprite Builder and it's also using Swift instead of Objective-C. So let's take a look at the project here. The first thing I'm going to do is load up Sprite Builder and I'm going to say File New Project. I'm going to call this Game and be sure to select Swift here. A lot of times you just by default click OK or Save but make sure you select Swift if you want to create a Swift game. So I'm going to select Swift, I'm going to click Save, it's going to save to my desktop. And the first thing I want to do is just add some buttons. So here's the first button, level one. Now the second button, level two. Now I want to set the connections for the level two button. Level two button in the selector. Click on the level one button level one button. There we go. So we have our two buttons set up, but we don't have the scenes set up to where we want the buttons to go. So we'll just go file. Sorry, click the plus button at the bottom, new file. Call this level one and we'll create the scene. And just so we know that it's level one, I'm going to drag some, um, text here and I'm going to call this level one scene just so you can see it and we also need a another button to go back we don't want to be stuck on level one this button is called the back button and with any button you always have to set a selector for it so this back button I'm just going to call back button. All right, so for this scene here, we need to define what class is going to manage or operate this scene. So I'm just going to create a tell it that level one class is going to manage and operate this scene. All right, so let's create a second scene here. So plus button, new file, at the bottom corner of Swift, level two, Create, and I'm going to go through the exact same process again. Drag my text. Drag my two, drag my one button. Create a selector for that button. All right. And this node I want to operate, um, I want to have a level two class managing this node here. All right, so these two buttons should go to the first scene, level one, and the second scene uh, will go to level two. So I'm just gonna click publish. That's all that we need to do in Sprite Builder. In Sprite Builder, you could click File, Open Project in Xcode. It'll open our project in Xcode. It'll bring us up these checks just to make sure our code is up to par with the current version of Swift. Just click OK. No changes necessary. Now, Click on your first tab here, your file tab, and in the main scene here, this is where we're going to put in our code. So this main scene manages the front page of your app. So I'm just going to put in a function, and I called it level one button. And 
let level one equal CCB reader load as seen level one There we go, so that's all the code for the level one button. And the level two button is the exact same, just different names. There we go. So this code is gonna basically have level one button and level two button work. But of course, once you're at the scene, level one scene, uh, it's not going to work. <clears throat> so in Xcode, let's create a new file, and we're going to call it a Coca class. So we're going to click Next. Make sure it's a subclass of a CC node, and I'm just going to call this level one using the Swift language. Be sure to add this into your source folder and click create. So as you can see, it's created us a level one scene and I'll just replace this uh, to foundation. All right, so let's copy our code here so we don't have to retype it. And the button that I created was called back button. And it's going to take me back to main scene. All right. I'm just going to copy this code here. I'm going to create my second class. I mean my second Swift file. And this is level two. Put it in the source folder. Change the import to foundation. Paste my back button in there again. And I'm going to click to build on iPhone 6s. And I'll just click build. So just to recap what we've done, we've used Sprite Builder to create the two buttons. We also created two extra scenes in Sprite Builder. We then went to Xcode. We created two extra Swift files to manage level one and manage level two. We created the code for the buttons and we're building the project. So here's our project here. If I click on level one, it takes me to level one scene. If I click back, it takes me to the main scene. If I click on level two, it takes me to the level two scene. If I click back, it takes me back to the main scene. So I hope you're able to build some games out of this tutorial. Like it and share it if you found that it was helpful. And watch for some other tutorials coming soon. Thank you very much.